Enough people have asked me about the solubility of aspirin that I'm going to crank out a video. This is the molecular structure for acetyl salicylic acid, which is aspirin. Yes, there are polar groups on this molecule. This COOH group is polar and actually will have a little bit of hydrogen bonding with water. And this ketone, or sorry, ester group is also slightly polar, but the benzene ring here is very non-polar. Water, a polar molecule, is going to have a hard time dissolving that benzene ring, even though these two groups are slightly polar. So overall, aspirin has a low solubility. I will admit it is not a solubility of zero. Aspirin isn't insoluble. But because of the non-polar backbone here, it's not going to dissolve a whole lot. So what makes it so you can take a pill of aspirin? The answer is that you can react this with a base like NaHCO3. What that does is it reacts with the carboxylic acid group here. You end up with the same molecule, but with a minus one on the oxygen and an Na plus as a counter ion. Now, you might recognize that all salts of sodium are soluble, and so now this ion is polar enough to dissolve in water. Therefore, pure aspirin, pure acetyl salicylic acid, where the carboxylic acid groups are COOH, does not dissolve well in water, but reacting it with a base will turn this acid into its conjugate base, and that will make it more soluble. The extra bonus, and this was more for, uh, for IB or International Baccalaureate kids, is that when you react sodium bicarbonate with an acid, you end up getting H2CO3 as a product. See, HCO3 with a minus one charge. Reacting with that extra H that we're removing from the acid gives you H2CO3. It undergoes a decomposition reaction to make carbon dioxide, and then that makes the solution bubble. One way to make or like to increase the rate of a reaction or increase the rate of dissolving is to agitate or swirl or stir a mixture. The bubbling here will help move the molecules around a little bit more, and that will make it dissolve even faster. The official answer that you want to say is that aspirin has low solubility, but you can make it dissolve in water by reacting it with a base. Sodium bicarbonate in particular will not only neutralize your COOH group to make the conjugate base and help it dissolve, but it will also help agitate the solution because the, by, uh, the carbonic acid that's made will decompose to make bubbles of carbon dioxide. Nice. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.